coming from Michael's house down to this uh, amazing amusement park, which is, oh, about several hundred yards, I guess, from the house. And this is, it's incredible. And I want to know whether or not you did this for yourself, or did you do it for uh, all the children that you, you entertain here? For myself and the children. Every three weeks, we have uh, terminally ill children mm -hmm. that come to, um, to the house, yep. Make-A-Wish Foundation, yep. Dream Street, Every three weeks. Starlight, yes. yes. And these are sick children, children with cancer, and I entertain them. Uh huh. And uh, they come here, so they lay with us. What I have to say is, these are not. As I was talking to some kids who were here, these aren't just grandma rides here. <laughs> these are some really good rides. I mean, the sea dragon, and the Ferris wheel. There's that zipper over there. That right by, yeah, to wipe out the zipper car. The child that lives inside of everybody. I yes. love rides and things like that. Did I you were you able to do it when you were kids? And not really. Sometimes, sometimes not all. <laughs> now you get it. How often do you actually come out here and do this? Whenever I'm here, I come out and I go on the line. Well, is this a part of you what we were talking about earlier? The pain of growing up and not being able to experience all the things that kids normally experience and so now. You are fulfilling all of those fantasies. Something to say, yes. Yeah. Yes, it's very true.